Yeah, so um, when I get the script, what do I do? Well, the first thing that I definitely do is go through the script and make sure that I am not Mr. Bike's love interest. What do I do? Well, first I toss aside the script. And then I get the CD and I listen to it day and night in my car, bumping to music like Friday. And I remember the day I got it, driving down Elm Street, blaring Rebecca Black Friday. And then I realized that everyone was pulling up next to me, staring at me as they could hear Friday blaring out of my Jeep. And I was shamed and I had to turn it off. And then I threw it out. Well, the first thing I do is flip through the script just to make sure I don't have to wear Daisy Dukes again, because that was really embarrassing. The script is here! The script is here! Oh, the script is here! Mom! The script! The script is here! Well, typically I just assign the roles, and each year there's only one or two requests that I have to really fill. Simple. If I'm not the star, I quit. Simple. If I am Bike's love interest, I quit. Simple. If I can't be Bike's love interest, I quit. It's simple. If I'm not the narrator, we have quite a few unemployed people walking around here. Simple. If I can't wear this, I quit. Well, quite honestly, the only really tough decision we have to make is who should be our choreographer. So this year we took a different approach. We polled the cast and asked them who they would like to teach the dances. Oh, that's a no-brainer. It's a dually. It's got to be dually. That's easy. Should be dually. Dually! Oh, that's an interesting question, but I think there's only one real answer. I'm pretty sure Dooley's the only one of us fit to choreograph such a play. I just don't get it. I got six years of dance, four years of tap, two years of ballet. Why didn't anyone vote for me to be the chore choreographer of the faculty play 2011? The play makes me sad because my I never get to see my dad during the play. There just simply is too much emphasis on the play and not enough on their job. Mr. Bikes, are we going to learn something today? What did I say? We learned learn something on Monday after the play. play. They're just simply not patrolling the hallways. Yeah, so oh, I, don't know. I just don't know what to oh, do. Wait, wait, wait. Then, oh, oh, hey, 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 hey. Should I say, then there is only one way to handle this? Or should I say, then, there is only one way to handle this. Uh, i definitely go with the second one. All right. All right, man. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Hey, hey, uh... Man, I really do appreciate it. Thank you yeah, so no much. No problem. <laughs> what are they like? It's really the only thing I look forward to. It's every day I wake up in the morning, and if it's not Thursday, the day of our rehearsal, I, I'm lost for words. Well, the nice thing is you get to spend time with your colleagues. How's it going? I'm fine. Yes. How, how are you doing? Doing all right. Good. I love rehearsals. They're absolutely awesome. It gives me a, a great opportunity to practice my music. So at this point, what we need to do is we start us off. We put a lot of effort into our dances. Where's your sparkling water with cranberry? <clears throat> I said sparkling! It is sparkling! This is tap! It's not tap. I can't 
can't work like this. You're all amateurs. Is this supposed to be theater? Uh, I don't want this. Don't look at me. Look down. I'm sorry. Let's just start dancing. Practice, people. Um, actually, we're out of time for today. What? Yeah. You all disgust me. Fine, we'll do this next week. Do Psh, I don't need to rehearse. How are you? Oh, play practice. Yeah, uh, I'm not going to be able to make it today. My grandmother's birthday is today. Uh, whew, she only turns 80 once, but I'll be able to make it def definitely next week. No, no, definitely. I promise. You have my word. Yeah, she only turns 80 once. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, you too. Good looks. Bye. Mm. I've never been part of a show I cannot believe how this process works. Hey! <laughs> what? Do you think we could, like, run the lines or something? Why? Why? I'd have to say my favorite part of the whole thing was just how friendly everybody involved was. Such a nice crew to work with. Easy. It gives me an excuse to wear this. That's easy. I have a huge ego and I love being the center of attention. They told me I could fire it if I didn't join. <laughs> okay, for eight years I resisted the urge to join the play because I'm not really a comedic actress. I am a serious actress. And this year Ben has wrote the lead dramatic role just for me. That's why I joined this year. To be or not to be, that is the question. Hey! Let's dance! Come on. Okay. I would just like to say that no one told me when I had to fill in for Mrs. Broder that I had to do the faculty play. So thank you. Well, I do the play because this is, this is my livelihood. I mean, I don't know anything else besides this play. I still feel one day I'm going to be discovered, and that day's got to go soon. It has to come soon. I don't need this stuff! I, all I care about is this play! I don't care about you people! Well, clearly the most important thing to remember is that we're here to help the kids. Mr. Bike, Mr. Bike, please calm down. It's not that big a deal. What is wrong with you people? Don't you know he has a play to get ready for? Well, now I, I think that you have a better understanding of what exactly goes into this production each year, and I hope as you watch tonight you'll have a greater appreciation for what it is we do. <laughs>